A shipping container used as a grocery store. This is News on Main, your connection to small business. MBA graduates Kerry Ference and Jacqueline Georgievich were looking for a way to bring fresh groceries into urban areas without a lot of extra space. And with that, the idea for Stockbox was born. The focus of Stockbox is to reduce the setup and operating costs so that we can focus on improving access to food inside neighborhoods that traditionally don't have access to a grocery store or that are traditionally dependent on, on convenience stores and fast food options. That's how the idea of using shipping containers came into play. The shipping container is becoming more popular as a building material because it is very accessible um, in terms of price. But we also liked that you could just kind of drop it into a parking lot. Refurbishing old shipping containers is becoming a bit of a trend. They've been turned into restaurants, retail shops, even a Starbucks. It took Carrie and Jacqueline only two and a half months to launch their prototype location, which was a mere 160 square feet. I think the first hundred people that walked into the store all had the same reaction, which was, oh my god, I can't believe how much food is in here, which is a really great feeling in such a small space to have that sort of reaction from customers. The success of the prototype led to their first storefront here in South Seattle, a permanent space they couldn't pass up. At 550 square feet, it's still a far cry from the size of your average grocery store. We are accustomed to shopping in stores that are a minimum of 50,000 square feet that has just about every item that you can imagine. And at the same time, we often all go into a grocery store and buy the same five and ten items time and time again. And working in a small space, you have to be very sensitive to the flow of how customers are moving, how the inventory is displayed. And we use a lot of learning from the prototype to design this store. Open for a little over a month, Carrie says the storefront is catching on fast. We were really blown away. In fact, our first week of operations was more in line with what we expect to see in month 11 or month 12. And at the same time, it's we still have the same challenges that any small business has. We have staff that we have to meet payroll for. We have inventory that we need to manage. And as entrepreneurs, we are still striving towards salary status. <laughs> so there's still a lot to do, but we, we feel like we're getting there. Carrie and Jacqueline plan to open three to five more stores next year, half of them in shipping containers. And every week they get calls about franchising their idea. I have a feeling we'll see Stockbox everywhere soon. That's your news on Main. Thanks for watching. I gotta do some shopping. Honeydew list. Eggs, milk, uh, what else? Cheese. We just bought cheese.